still sound. Though the pain is cracking dry, and there's that old old tree that I used to play. The green, green grass But I want you to put your hands together for this band because for the time most of these boys finish tonight, they're going to be old age pensioners. It's going to last for a lifetime. What do you say? What am I trying to say? I say you're lovely now. <laughs> and you know, every one of us has played together. Well, not played together. <laughs> We've been together quite often. And Liz was another girl who down through the years played with us all. And everybody here tonight, especially the people on this stage here now at the moment, and myself and the people who have organized this, we're here to say a thank you to her for her life, her talent, and her ability as a musician. And may she rest in peace. I'm going to do a wee song. And this song would have been very appropriate for her during her life and to me, uh, through my life as well. It's a wee song that we should all take into consideration one day at a time. We'll all sing in the key of D. Are you ready? Be a single man. <laughs> Give me your head to the album, oh, Danny. Give me the strength 
lives in peace. I'm going to finish off now because I have to get home early tonight. But uh, to let you know that Lisa sent tomorrow in the program, so you can all tune in to Lisa and she'll be playing all your country music. And she's better loving than me. Oh, she did she is. I've had the way down to the band, but I want to thank the boys in the band. I want to thank uh, Barry here who initially built me to come here tonight and asked me to come up with that. And why would you because Liz has done so much for the music down through the years. Through the good days and the bad days, she's still there all the time. And to her family, uh, I wish you well. We're going to finish off with that. Is there any truckers here? Yeah. 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 Any truckers here? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Get the hands going like this. Come on, get the hands going.
with you. You were walking there and I thought you were Pope Francis. It is black, very forgiving. Ladies and gentlemen, to the London! <laughs> Who's run this show so near you? <laughs> hey, listen very carefully. Listen very carefully, ladies and gentlemen. We have a card number to call out. I, I think it, it's, it's like one of these personal number plates. But don't panic because the cars are only a is telling us. It's LH57 PMK. LH57 PMK. You won't have heard the news tonight, ladies and gentlemen. At the end of the week, Cougar Duncan is in court. He's taken Strabane Council to court for bending the footpath too close to his arse. Now, <laughs> please, I have a dog here. Ladies and gentlemen, as you may or may not know, I live in a wee place called Warren Point. And on my way here tonight, I was coming from Newcastle to Bandle Hinch, and I was stopped for speeding a lady cop. And she walked over and I rolled the window down. You know what she said? I've been waiting for a boy like you all day. And I said, I got here as quick as I could. <laughs> and then she says, would you mind stepping out of the car? So I got out of the car and I wobbled a wee bit. She said, you're staggering, sir. I said, you're not bad living there, son. No. <laughs> but I don't mind admitting, ladies and gentlemen, I celebrated my birthday at the start of September. I was 70. No, 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 no. I said to my wife, if I thought I was going to live this long, I'd take a better care of myself. But when you're that age, you have to go to the doctor quite regularly. So I went into the doctor on Monday morning and the waiting room was packed. And Northern Ireland is full of Eastern European people, lovely people. So I was sitting beside this lady from Bulgaria and she was breastfeeding her baby, which I think is a wonderful sight. She looked me straight in the eye and she says to me, I think you're next. <laughs> she says, I, I've never eaten all that long. in Belela, of all places. Is somebody here from Belela? Yes! Jeez, it must be closed. <laughs> but, I was doing a concert and in the middle of the concert, your man says, can you try to waste a wee bit of time? So he says, we're going to have a, a survey. And it was coming up to Halloween like now. And I says, do many people in this hall believe in ghosts? And half the crowd put their hands up. Jeez, that's not too bad. Today, how many people in this room has saw a ghost? And there was 50 people with the hand up. Jeez, I said, not that bad. Today, is there anybody in this room being loved with a ghost? The wee hand was out the back. Yeah, they said, what up, what up? They said, what's your name? Paddy Murphy. Where are you now? Just outside the Lilla. Jeez, that's unbelievable. When did you make love to this ghost? He said, ghost? I thought you said goat. <laughs> It's not easy being married. The wife said to me this morning at half eight in the kitchen, I want them to make love to me. I said, white pepper on me. <laughs> she says, I'm boiling an egg and I want to type it. <laughs> I just had the toast to hit runny eggs, is it? <laughs> but the worst thing about my thing, she sent me into Newry to buy her a bra. <laughs> Jesus, this is an awful thing for a man. Now in this wee old shop in Uri, and they said the one behind the counter, I'd like a bra for my wife. She says to me, what sort of bra would you like? Being a man. Not in the nursing home now. She says, what sort of bra? 
Have you got, oh, she said, we have three kinds of bra. We have a Catholic bra, a Salvation Army bra, and an Ardeen Foster bra. She said, what's the difference there? Oh, she said, it's very, very simple. The Catholic bra holds masses. The Salvation Army bra lifts the folly. And the Ardeen Foster bra makes mountains in the molehills. South down in South Armagh. I said it's a lovely little fishing village of an 18 mile southwest of Newry called Cross McGlen. The deeds of capital of Ireland. The only people I know who can mix green and red and make white. Paddy and Mick was in the pub in Cross McGlen. Paddy said, My wife's a babe. Mick said, Right enough, I've seen the movie. Ladies and gentlemen, just out of uh, the nursing home in Castle Valley, 